December 2009, the world's longest endurance race, 25 Hours of Thunder Hill, takes place in Northern California. 2 years ago in 2007, Spoon entered this race but retired due to technical failure after 24 hours and 52 minutes, only 8 minutes short of the 25 hour finishing time. With a hiatus in 08, the Spoon team is back in full force. They will be entering the same JDM Honda Civic Type R, a brand new 225 horsepower K20A spoon tuned engine was flown in from Japan and the car was completely rebuilt from ground up to prepare for the final race of the season. It's Friday, the day before the race, and four crew members from Spoon Japan work on last minute preparations on the car. Tatsuru Ichishima, spoon president and race car driver, leads the team. The 58-year-old veteran driver shows no sign of stopping. For Thunderhill, he has assembled an all-star cast of drivers. Will his choice of drivers result in accomplishing the goal? Professional former Super GT driver Naoki Hattori is the hired gun of the team. He will carry the heavy load of the driving during the marathon race. Road and Track Editor Sam Itani returns as the only member from the 2017. Although not his fault, Mitani was behind the wheel when the car ceased to move two years ago with eight minutes remaining in the race. Will he be able to break the jinx? Kazunori Yamauchi perhaps has more time behind a driving simulator than anyone in the world. Will the PlayStation Gran Turismo producer's digital driving skills actually apply to a real-life racing situation and even more in an endurance race? All of these questions will be answered. It's race day and 75 teams line up at the starting grid. Spoon's final goal is to finish as high as possible and the strategy is to save the car and tires during the race. Ichishima takes the wheel first. The plan was to have Matani and Yamauchi squeeze in at least two stints before midnight. Ichishima and Atori were to carry the heavy load during the most dangerous hours of the race in the dark. I think Ich Ichi's uh, running pretty good. I was resting in the camper, but uh, uh, he's going to be coming in in about five minutes, and then uh, Kazunori's getting in, and then I'm after him. So hopefully everything will go smooth. Uh, we still got over 23 hours to go, so still early. The condition of the car is good, and besides the heavy wind, the weather looked good so far. After three hours into the race, the Beast of Thunderhill begins feasting on its prey. By dusk, there are noticeably fewer cars on the track. As for the Spoon team, driver changes have gone smoothly so far, other than a few radio malfunctions.
During Mitani's stint going into the night, a Mazda MX-5 went up in flames on the back hills on turn nine. Emergency cars came in and the track went yellow. It was the biggest incident of the race so far and a serious reminder how dangerous this sport can be. Then it happened. Mitani was hit on turn 12. A Porsche GT3 Cup racer crashed into him from behind and went off course. Mitani somehow kept the Civic from losing control after the impact and pitted immediately. Oh, I was just driving, I was racing, just driving. And the real fast Porsche, the GT3 Cup car, came for, just, he, bam, just nailed me from behind trying to get through. And uh, I didn't think he left her enough room and he just, he just tried to squeeze through a hole. If he would have waited another corner, I would would have let him go, but he just hit me from behind, so. The Spoon Civic is now slapped with a noise level violation by the officials and warned that they will be disqualified if they cannot reduce the noise level. The Spoon Civic is now 10th place in its class. The noise level procedures that lasted 30 minutes took its toll. But there are still 12 more hours in the race and anything can happen at Thunderhill. The first few hours, you run on adrenaline. After six hours, you finally relax and get into a rhythm. At halfway point, with still 12 hours remaining, fatigue starts settling in. For the remainder of the race, the fight against exhaustion continues. <laughs> the number two car that initially had problems is still hanging in there only a couple of places behind the Spoon Civic. You can never have too much duct tape at the tracks. cold night is coming to an end and the sun comes up over the east side hills. Driving in the darkness calls for extreme physical and mental stress. Ichishima claims the morning hours are the most dangerous time of the race when all of that tension can break. There is one hour left in the race 
and Yamauchi prepares for his final stint to receive the checkered flag. Spoon Civic Type R raced without any major mechanical problems and finished seventh in class. Their second car, the Spoon Euro R, also successfully came in tenth in class. まあ、初めて尽くしなんで、あの、ターキットも初めてだし、アメリカのレースも初めてだし、体重レースで、え、自分がチェッカーを受けるのも初めてだし、とにかく何かないまで感激。ま、すごくいい勉強になります。ま、